what we're working on is a 2020 Icon I-40 in purple. This is in pretty good shape, has low miles on it. Uh, black seats, still has the standard original batteries in it. We'll be uh, probably changing those out sooner or later. And what I am going to show you is the throttle pedal. Get in here. Throttle pedal ends up getting loose. So if your Icon has developed the uh, sloppy go pedal, um, I'll go through, show you what you got to do. Um, it's going to take a little time and probably going to cost you a little bit to fix it if it's not under warranty. Um, what you have to do is take out the floor mat here, um, which, mean, which means removing all of the Christmas trees. There's, I forget how many, one, two, three, four, oh, five, five or six. So these screws here, these screws across the back that hold this plate in, that go all the way across here and the screws on the other side. So basically you're having to take up the entire floor mat and then there's a metal plate under here. There's a plate that sits about right here that kind of covers the throttle boxes and the brake box and everything. And you'll have to take that out and then remove the, remove the go pedal and affix the repair. So with all that being said, I'll uh, set up a time lapse. One thing to note, all of the plastic Christmas tree tea things that hold the carpet or that hold the mat in are going to break. Just, you're not going to be able to save any of them. They're going to snap the heads right off of them and you have to push the, uh, the trees out the bottom. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description to the bag of uh, Christmas tree mat hold down things you can buy on Amazon. That's what we did. It even comes with a tool, I believe. So you can pry these off or break them off because they're not coming out. It's plastic and plastic and there's a lot of grippage and they just don't come out without breaking in half or breaking the tops off. So. All right, so there's the floor out. When you're peeling the, when you're peeling the rubber piece up, it, here it comes off very easy, almost folds down. But then it has little pieces that stick under here. Be careful. Put your hand behind here and pick up and out to remove these like this. Because if you just pull this way, it will rip right across there. I'll show you what I mean. This is the one I did the other day. And I don't know if it'll come on camera, but there's a little rip right here where I pulled the... This just fell off and I went to pull it up, up and out and the little there's like little square teeth that, that stick under here little flaps and this stuff rips like real easy so now this is the throttle box we've got our throttle yeah throttle box cover actually it looks a little different than the one i did yesterday the other day must be a different so take these screws out Don't lose them. There's one over here. And one over here. And this just lifts out. Get rid of that. It's a good time to uh, knock down some of that rust and paint it with some fresh paint. Sorry about that. All right, so here's the throttle box, or at least what I call it. There's your master cylinder if you have access to that. There's the brake pedal, and all this mechanism with the your little looks like a little switch. That's your brake light micro switch, and here is the loose throttle box. Now, so 
hard to get a good shot of this, but these are splined. I go ahead and mark it. Sorry. I mark this so I make sure I get it right back on there. There's a nut back here. The nut comes off first. Then you take the screw out. This piece, apparently, on at least on the last one, and probably this one, is threaded. So when you put the nut, the bolt in, you thread it into here, and I think it's supposed to collapse this together. You can see there's a gap on the bottom when I take it out. It's supposed to tighten it, and then the nut's supposed to keep it. What happens is, I think from the factory, is they're tightening these. They're stripping them out, because the other one was stripped. And when they put the nut on there, it's not really helping anything, because this is already stripped. This part is already stripped out, so it just works itself loose. And what I do is I take this out, and forget the, the stripped aluminum threads. I don't know why they would depend on that, and you use the nut to collapse it together. And we'll go over that once I get it out. So just bear with me. Here's the pedal as it sits in the cart. This end, I go focus. Sorry, it's dark. That end is threaded, and that is the the end that faces the back or the front of the cart. It sits like this. There's the bolt. That end's threaded. On the other cart we had, that end right there was stripped out. It was completely just galled up when they when they installed it. And they put the nut on the back and then called it a day. Um, the nut is a lock nut. It's uh, one of those ones that are kind of smashed where it's oblong. This one's not bad. I'm going to try to reinstall it and tighten it back up because the threads are actually okay. But I don't personally, I don't put a lot of faith in the torque you're gonna need to collapse this splined connection with an aluminum, you know, threaded aluminum piece. Especially it's probably pop metal, not really aluminum, but it's a cast unit. But we're gonna try it. I'll bring you back. Okay, so that worked. This one tightened up. I will say, if you have access to a power ratchet, it makes life a lot easier with this thing because the bolt's long, fine thread, you're hunched over. Um, you have to get the nut with a 10 millimeter. I would suggest ratcheting a little wrench to get that off. So just to recap, if your pedal's loose, take off the the rubber floor mat, take off the throttle box cover, remove the nut first because this is threaded. If you try to pull this out, you're going to mess it up. So remove the nut, unscrew that, mark your, make sure the throttle box goes, or the throttle pedal goes back in the same spot. Put a little mark there for yourself. If you have it, use a freaking electric ratchet. Pull the bolt out, pull the pedal off, make sure these threads are in good shape and they're not stripped out. Like I said, our other one was stripped, so we just had to use the nut to, to pinch and hold the spline together, or that gap to pinch it. This one was okay. I was able to put it back in with the ratchet, give it a one good ugga dugga, and it, it tightened it up and so it's not loose anymore. And then I put the lock nut back on the back. I think it's tight. Yep, it's tight. And then now it's a reverse operation. Put the throttle box back on. Might as well clean all that out while you're here. There is no access from the bottom. This is all plastic. I mean, I guess if you wanted to cut this out, <laughs> get up under the cart and cut this out, you could go up here and loosen the nut and try to tighten that from the bottom. But I don't know. It's up to you. Like I said, this is a... It's just a quick how-to, how we do it or how I do it. Um, it's not necessarily the right way, the wrong way, or the way that Icon tells you to do it, but just wanted to 
give everybody a quick how to or how I do on uh, sloppy thr throttle pedal, sloppy go pedal fixes. One other thing I forgot to show was how we get these little pins out that pop off. It's not too bad. Literally. <clears throat> And get this right sometimes I'll just push on out if you use a screwdriver like that other times you may have to drive them out like these over here are a little bit harder but that's pretty much it all right so that's it we completed the repair of the uh, wobbly go pedal Again, this is just a how I do it. It's not a how-to. It's not instructing you how you should do it or how Icon says I do it. It's just how I do it to fix it. I've already done uh, two of these on different carts. Um, there's two ways that it can be messed up. Uh, this cart was just loose. You're able to take the nut off the back, retighten the, the main um, spline bolt, and reinstall the lock nut and it'll be fine. Uh, our other cart that we had to do this to, uh, when we took it apart, the threads were actually thread stripped out and galled up on the pedal assembly. Uh, so there was no fixing that one. We just ended up using the, uh, the bolt and the uh, lock nut. And both of them, the, both of the bolt and the lock nut were both screwed up as well. So I had to go to Ace Hardware does have those flanged metric uh, bolts and nuts um, that match the uh, cart, at least here in our town. Uh, so I was able to pick up, I picked up like four or five of them, set them, because I figured it's going to be an ongoing thing with new carts if I get new carts. But um, yeah, take your time. It's, a, it's an easy fix. It's a long fix. You've got to pull the floor up and pull the uh, plate up for the uh, accelerator pedal and brake pedal block off plate. But... It's doable. Um, you are going to break the Christmas trees. Um, like I stated, I'll put the uh, I'll put the uh, link where you can purchase that and the tool in Amazon uh, on Amazon in the uh, description below. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a good day.